Hi, everyone. This is Janelle from AnnounceMyMove.com. We're super excited to have Mike Parker again this week um, on Announce My Move Social Media Tip of the Week. Hey, Mike, what have you got for us today? Hey, Janelle. Great to have me on today. Looking forward to it. And Today we're going to do is research the marketplace. And when I say research the marketplace, is where are our existing and potential customers, consumers playing at? And I'm going to give you a few tools here that I have found that you can go out and you can work with to find out where people are doing. Uh, the first one here is Google Alert. Okay. And Google Alert, there's many different uses for this. Um, if you go to uh, google.com forward slash alerts, as you can see the site here, you can put this out, and this will take you to the page on there. This is what it looks like here. Now, you can follow 15 Google Alerts at a time, okay? And when you do there, you just put in the terms that you want to search. For example, if I wanted to search Mike Parker, and this is, what, uh, this is what a Google Alert will come back and look like here. Anybody that's named Mike Parker that's been put onto the web, it's going to come up. So you can do a very, very loose term that you'll get a lot of comments on back, or you might do a very detailed term. Now my question to you is, what do you watch on Google Alert? Well, the first one I would do was I would definitely do your own personal name. I would also look at doing your company. If you have the real estate team, for example, I have the Mike Parker team, I might do Mike Parker team. If you're in a certain part of the country, for example, I'm in Northern Kentucky, I follow Northern Kentucky real estate. Anything that's said about Northern Kentucky real estate, we'll watch. Now, these Google alerts, you can set them up as soon as they come back. I'm going to back up here just for a second here. If you look here in the top right-hand corner, it says, how often? I have mine once a day on Mike Parker, okay? There are some that I have that's once a week on some terms that are not as important. I do have 15 I'm following from there. Um, a couple things is I, my major competitors. I've got two major competitors that I, anything that's posted about them, they come to me once a week. And it's just, you know, just kind of keep it up to date with what they're doing. Um, I've got two companies that I have found out that are transferring into this area. Uh, they're not here yet. They're probably anywhere from three to six months away. And what I have done is, is put these people's company in, and let's just say it's John Doe's uh, tar company. Let's just use that as an example. What I've done is in Google Alert put John Doe Tar Company, and when there is something out on the web about that company, I'll pick that up. Now, that one comes to me immediately, okay, the tar company. And here's the reason why. Anything that happens about that company, because they're going to be transferring anywhere from 25 to 50 people into here. Anything that can give me an edge with that HR department where I can get in, I want, okay? I've already written a few thank you notes, little uh, congratulations cards on people who have gotten promotions and things like that. I'm trying to get inside that company before it gets here. Uh, other things you could do is uh, communities. Is there a, uh, a subdivision like Hampshire or Triple Crown? Is there a community in there that, that you're trying to make a headway in or that you're the top dog inside that community already and you're wanting to stay on top of everything? Is there a school system? I mean, there's many different things that you can use this Google Alert to keep you up with. Now, once you find out that Google Alert, what you're searching for, you've decided on that, that's kind of your niche marketing. You know, if you're, for example, are going to uh, Google Alert like Northern Kentucky Golf Courses and you're going to really work the golf sector really hard, well, that is something that you're going to try to niche market, and you need to take that through your Twitter and take that through your Facebook. Uh, the listing tools, Google blog search, and this is an example here of what the blog search. You're able to search any of the blogs. Now, when I'm doing research on something, this is one place I definitely go and look. Uh, is there any blogs in here? For example, I am looking for historic properties in the Newport area and uh, Mansion Hill project. And uh, what I might go in is but Newport, Kentucky, Mansion Hill. And what has been wrote about that area there, pulling up detailed information about that. Uh, another one here is a Twitter search. 
Uh, Twitter is getting interesting. Uh, I have used Twitter for a long time for my news. I probably am following anywhere from two to 300 news organizations, uh, from sports to financial to entertainment, um, following different things. I've actually on my Mike Parker CRS is my profile. If you're not following me, please click on me and, and uh, follow me, and I'll follow you back. Um, I've got over uh, 2,400 people following me, and I'm following 2,600. Uh, what I have found is is I get up-to-date news faster by going to Twitter than I can going to the web or re- definitely faster in reading the newspaper. Um, if you think about it, the uh, plane that landed in the Hudson, that news story was broken by Twitter. The terrorist attack over in India, that was broke by Twitter. Things are happening, and I think that CNN calls it the eye reporter. People are finding something, and they're reporting on it right away. Um, Twitter, if you're looking for something, uh, that is a great place to go and search for. Uh, site volume. Site volume will report on how often keywords or phrases appear on Twitter, Dig, MySpace, YouTube, and Flick. Flick is a photo site. YouTube is a video site. MySpace is uh, is MySpace. It's like a Facebook. It was the first one out there. Uh, Dig is an area where you can, like, my favorites. You can store your favorites at, uh, at sitevolume.com. Here it is. And what I have done here is I've gone in and put Mike Parker through. And on Dig, it will give me different levels of where my name is shown. I can do it on MySpace, YouTube, Flickr, and Twitter. Uh, this is one to play with a little bit. I have not used it a great deal, but when I'm looking for a keyword or something like that, occasionally we will use it. Uh, social mention uh, enables you to search keywords or phrases by a specific channel or as a whole and to receive email news alert when mentioned the when a new mention is posted. Now, for you folks who've got your own website and you do your own SEO, pay attention to this because I learned this one here by, by just playing around. CDPE is a Certified Distressed Property Expert class, okay? Let's just say I put that in there, and I am looking in blogs for this, okay? So I do this, and the site is socialmention.com. Okay, I go into here, and about this, it tells me where all the mentions about CDPE was in the blogs, okay? And what happens is when I go to the next one, look in the top left-hand corner, top keyword. It tells me what the keywords were for that mention for that website. Now, if I'm doing my own SEO these are going to be words I'm going to make sure they're in my keywords for my website. Uh, I just came across this by purely by accident, and that's a big deal because what I've done is, is I've gone to my uh, competitors' sites and done some search their blogs, see what their keywords are, and I have found that they had two or three keywords that I just didn't think were that relevant, but I, how wrong I was because they were rated very, very high. And I believe this one here is showing you the top ten. So that's a nice little tip right there. Uh, Social Cast, um, this will give you real-time analytics on microblogging. Um, here will give you a, a look here. Um, I've seen a couple brokers, uh, and actually big brokers have used this, to see what their people are searching and what their activity is. And it's kind of like Big Brother in a little bit of a way, but if you're working uh, security in your, in your company, it's something you might consider. Um, here are some things you need to know. Uh, where's your competitors working in? How do they present themselves? Who are their fans and followers are? How are they interacting with those users? And do their users re- respond? You know, if you're um, if you are a fan or a follower, like for example, all my competitors, I, I accept them. I fully accept them. I can only think of two people that I have not accepted. Um, in my Facebook, and it's just because of what their photos are. I don't believe in what their photos are from that. I have um, stopped somebody from posting on my website because they were uh, posting things I did not believe in. But outside of that, I accept everybody else. And what happens is, is you know, look at your competitors, see how they're interacting. If you're not getting the business off of social media, maybe it's how you're interacting with your people. 
and you've got somebody in your marketplace that's doing quite well, you know, you might want to see what they're doing. Um, I have firmly believe, and we're going to talk about one of our tips in the future, it's called the art of posting, and it's something that you want to look at. Um, this is our last one here. Uh, this site right here will show you what your competition is doing, and uh, I believe I've got one. Whoops, now that is the last slide right there. And that is this week's uh, social media tip of the week here. Research your marketplace. Get out, see what they're doing, see where they're playing. Uh, the Google Alert will give you a lot of information about your uh, consumer there. Uh, the Google Blog Search will give you a lot of different information there. Uh, and uh, if you're doing your own um, keywords, you're doing your own SEO, uh, make sure you get on that socialmention.com. And uh, Janelle, I appreciate you having me on. I look forward to working with you folks in the future here. Well, this was fantastic, Mike. Thank you so much again for our social media tip of the week. Hope you guys will join us next time. Bye-bye.